Okay, so now that we've got our head around the on delay, the off delay, and the retentive on delay timers, we've got to look at the counters now, guys. So counters are in the same portion of the PLC. So we've got user, bit, and then timers and counters, okay? So because the reset button right here, or the reset instruction, uh, is going to hold true for both the timers and the counters. Okay, so let's take a look first at uh, a count up instruction. So again, we have our end here. We're going to drop in on the user. We're going to drop an extra rung. And let's go back to counters here. And let's drop in an up counter here. And the address for this guy, well, what is the address? Well, over here on the left-hand side, uh, we had the timers as T4 and the counters are in C5. Okay, so this guy here is C5 colon zero. Oops. Let's try it over here, donkey. C5 colon zero. There we go. Okay, and we're going to going to call this guy counter zero. Oh, why don't we call it up counter? There we go. Uh, the preset, I don't know, let's go for five again, right? Just so we don't take too much time counting up. Uh, and it looks like it has a number of instructions. If we go back to um, our data file here, we have count up, count down, right? So for count up and count down, they're part of the same word there. We have the done bit and then the OV. What is the, uh, the OV? Let's go to the help and take a look at what the OV is. Okay, so we can go up here to the help. And I don't think I've shown you the help yet. It's really cool. If you go here to instruction help, then it opens up this matrix here uh, where it gives you everything that you're looking at. So right now we're looking at uh, count up. So we're looking for CTU. We'll double tap on this guy and it shows us the counter there and then tells us um, a basic description on that counter there. So it says in big bold letters here, note using use a reset instruction with the same address as the counter or another instruction in your program to overwrite um, the value for your accumulated value. The on or off status of counter done overflow and underflow bits is retentive. The accumulated value and control bits are reset when the RES is enabled. So we're going to have to make use of a reset in our program. Uh, but we were interested in, let's just move this over a touch and bring this to the front. Oh, that sucks. We have both those guys at the same point. Let's move this over a touch. Sorry, guys. It's too bad you can't uh, put them one on top of the other. Okay, so uh, we had count up, count down, the done bit, and the OV. So the OV looks like it's the, the overflow. And looking at my cheat sheet here, it says the over, overflow bit is true when the counter counts past its maximum value which is 32,767. So two to the power of 15 is 32,768, um, but we have zero. So it goes up, once it goes uh, to a past its maximum value of 32,767, on the next count, the counter will wrap around to negative 32,768 and will continue con counting from there towards zero on successive false to true transitions on the count up counter. Okay, so it's an overflow. Okay, what else do we have got? Uh, UN, okay, well, UN is most likely an underflow, right? And let's see, the UN, interesting, it doesn't show UN. Let's see if we can go down a touch. Interesting, in this help, it doesn't seem to mention the, the UN there, but on my cheat sheet here, the UN is the, the underflow bit, right? So this guy right here is the underflow bit. Underflow bit will go true when the counter counts below minus 32,768, and the counter is going to wrap around to positive 32,767 and continue counting down towards zero on successive false to true rung transitions on the countdown timer. Okay, so we have an overflow for the count up, and we have an underflow for the countdown. Okay, then beside there we have UA, uh, and UA is the update accumulator bit. The update accumulator bit is used only in conjunction with an external high speed counter. Okay, so we're not using that right now. Okay, so, and with a preset of five, 
Um, I don't think that we're going to get anywhere close to 32,767, uh, but it's there for if you're keeping, you know, count of successive, successive rotations on something and it was spinning really fast and it, you know, filled up that counter right away, then you could, you could have that bit set as an over or an undershoot of that value. Okay. So let's get uh, rid of this guy. Just cool to show you where you find the help. And again, we found that here. And we went to instructions help and it brought up this matrix if you have any questions. Beautiful. Okay, so we need something to fire that counter on. Um, let's see, let's put uh, an input there. And we need an instruction there. So we're going to grab one of these guys. So let's grab this rung here. Let's drop down an instruction there. Uh, and that is going to be my start push button. And I believe they had that as input number one. There we go. So that's going to do my up counter. And then we need to fire on the bits that correspond to uh, the up counter. And so we're going to have one guy looking at the done bit. And that guy is going to fire on uh, an output light. And that's pretty much all we're going to look at, right? We're just going to look at when the contacts on the counter change state when the accumulated equals the preset value. Now in big bold letters there, it was telling us that we also had to make use of uh, a reset instruction. So we're going to highlight this, drop in another rung below, and then we're going to have a reset push button. There we go. And the reset, remember, was right here in the timer and counter. We can use the same reset that we used for the timers. We're going to bring it over until we see green, let her go. And then we're going to address this exactly the same as that counter. So we're going to double click here and we're going to type in C5 colon zero. Hit enter. Beautiful. Uh, and then the reset push button. Let's see. So this guy right here was my, uh, no, I need my reset. Reset is right there. Beautiful. Hovering until I say green. There we go. And then on my counter, let's open up our counter instruction here and we've said that when it has finished counting then the done bit will set so we're gonna bring that up and we'll monitor that and that will turn on our output so I have one of my lights here and my lights I believe are hooked up to six seven and eight right so I'm going to grab output number six which was my enable no you know what let's grab this same done thing that's labeled as done bit there, let's grab output number eight here, guys. Beautiful. Okay. Now I've just arbitrarily, let me bring that back up. The reason why it said done bit was because I used it for uh, my timer before, but it's not physically linked to the done bit. I just simply typed in done bit here in the symbol window there, but it's not linked to my timer whatsoever. What links it to the timer now is this instruction right here. So we have an examine if closed or examine if true or examine if one. And so when the done bit goes from a zero to a one, this will be true and my output will turn on. Okay, so let's verify this program here. There we go. Okay, no errors found. And let's download this bad boy now. Excellent. Okay, we're in the run mode. Give me two seconds. I've got the camera set up and we'll do a picture in picture. Okay, so it said that the counter was uh, retentive. So we'll find that each time that we increment it up by pressing that start push button, um, it will keep that value in the accumulated value until I hit my reset button. And when I hit the reset button, it will reset everything and the accumulated value should go back down to zero. So let's increment our start push button here. So pressing the push button right now, and you can see it goes to a one every time it goes from um, a zero to a one. Now we're back to a zero. I'm going to make this a one once again, and the accumulated value will go up one more. Beautiful. We can also keep track of that on the uh, the counter data 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 file. Sorry. Um, so where can we put that? Right about uh, right about here. Okay, so we know that the address is C50, right? Um, so we can see that the accumulated value is two there.
Okay, so we'll hit the, the start push button one more time. There we go. And you can see that the count up has now incremented as well, right? So it goes from a zero to a one, but when I let go of the start push button, it will go back down to a zero. There we go. Okay, so we're going up, get to four, right? So the accumulated value is now at a four. We can see it here and we can see it on our actual counter there. And then when we get to five, then the done bit will set. We are looking at the done bit for when it goes from a zero to a one. So we're looking at this guy right here. When it goes from a zero to a one, we're going to turn on uh, our first indicator light here. Okay, so going from four to five. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, I thought it was going to be this light. It's this guy over here. Beautiful. So as soon as the accumulated value is equal to the preset, then our done bit set. And we can see here that our indicator light has now turned on. And as soon as I hit the reset button, then the accumulated value should go right back down to zero. And at that point, the preset and the accumulated will no longer be the same. And we'll find that the done bit is no longer true. So here's the reset button, guys. There we go. It goes to zero and the light turns off right away. Excellent. Okay, so now we've got an up, up counter where it increments here. We're from every uh, zero to one, right? So every time that that run goes true, it increments up. When it gets to the accumulated value between the preset, then the done bit sets and stays set until we hit the reset push button. Excellent. Okay, let's take a look at uh, the down counter. Okay, so we've gone offline now. We're now going to change this guy to a down counter. So I'm going to right click on this guy. I'm going to go down to change instruction type. And once I do that, then I can just use my arrow key and go to the end there, backspace, and put a D there, hit enter, and it's now a countdown counter. Beautiful. That's all we need to do. We're just going to look at the done bit, and we're also going to still use that reset push button to reset that counter, and we still have that labeled as C50, the same as this guy right here. Okay, so let's go here. Let's download that now that we've made some changes. Okay, so now let's hit that start push button and see what happens now. So there's my start push button being pressed. Oh, look at that. It goes down to a negative value now, right? Because we started at zero and now we're incrementing down. So there is a use for this with the down counter, uh, but it's more likely to be used with the up counter. So you can use an up down counter. So you can increment up with the up counter and you can increment down the same counter. Now on the Tweedo suite, both the up and the down were part of the same instruction. Uh, but with the up counter and the down counter, they're completely separate in the RS Logix 500. Okay, so just showing you that again, every time that that run goes true, then it increments down up to, or I guess down to that negative 32,767. And then it's going to hit the underflow, right? And then keep rolling over. Okay, so we can just keep going. Uh, but the done bit never sets because that value is nowhere near the five. Okay, let's hit our reset push button here. And once we hit the reset, then we should find that the accumulated value goes right to zero. Let's bring up that uh, counter instruction just so we can take a look at it at the same time, right? So we can see there that every time that I hit that push button, that this goes to a one, see? And as it goes, you can see that the accumulated value is now going down, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, right? And then when I hit the reset push button, then my accumulated value right here should go back down to zero back up to zero. Beautiful. All right, guys, looks good. So now we've got an up counter and a down counter that we can make use of. In this case, um, we weren't able to, uh, to change anything. Let's see if we can change the accumulated value on the fly. Oh, look at that. Very cool. Okay. So as soon as I was uh, changing that here, let me go back to, uh, to zero again. Uh, and let me turn on the camera and I'll show you what's going on here. Hang on for a minute. 
Okay, so just to finish up here, um, what I did was uh, I changed the uh, the value for the accumulated. So watch what happens when I change the value for the accumulated on the fly. So we're in the run mode right now. Uh, you can see that here as well. We have the power and the run LED illuminated. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this value on the fly. I'm going to make it greater than 5. And obviously if the preset and the accumulator are equal or above, then the done bit will set. So I'm going to change this to 10. And as soon as I change this to 10 and hit enter, that light should turn on. There we go. So we can see that the done bit has set here. Output number 8 is on right now. So our illumination has happened on the, the light there. And the way to turn that off would be to count down, right? So now let's hit our input here to the count countdown. So we're going to press this start push button here. And by doing that, we should increment down. So 9, 8, 7, 6. And then when we're equal, what do you think the done bit's going to do? Let's see. They're equal. It should still stay on. Okay. So the output is still on. But then when the accumulated value is no longer equal to the preset, then the light should go out because the done bit will no longer be true. Okay. So we're looking right here at this bit right here. And as soon as uh, we increment down one more, then the done bit will go to a zero. This will no longer be true and our light will turn off. Okay. So hitting that now. Excellent. All right. So that's pretty good, guys. We went over the, the up counter and the down counter. Uh, next video in the playlist, we'll, we'll got to do the up down counter. So on the Twitter suite, we were able to incorporate them into the same instruction. Um, but with the Alan Bradley, we're going to have to use, uh, two instructions, but address them the same for the up down counter. All right. We'll see you on that video, guys. Thanks for your patience. We'll talk to you soon.